it's delusional to say that other girls are flourishing. Recognize, to recognize we weren't giving the platforms that we're being given right now. And I literally, I give you props all the time in every other interview for opening the door for that to be a possibility now. I finished it, Miss. Okay. Right, I look. said at at right, for a long time it was you. It was me. Yes, so, so, and and so, your so your. So you didn't do your research. <sighs> what is so, it? So, so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have somebody send you send you the information about all the women. Them rapping ass bitch that fell into our motherfucking radio. I'm so sick of her fake wannabe, a ghost and a monster. To now she's a motherfucking hood chick. I'm so sick of her. You didn't make it in the game because you were good at what you do. You made it in the game because they was looking for a new fresh female face, and you was connected with the right people. Gucci Mane, Lil Wayne, Baby, Cash Money, Your Money. You did not come in the game with no hit, Nikki. You came in the game looking like the Wicked Witch of the West, East, South, North, bitch with. Them ugly ass motherfucking oompa loompa hairdos that whoever that hairdresser was was fucking you up, bitch. You look like a bitch bought your ass from the fair, bitch, and you was in the cotton candy machine. Bitch came out with that shit plastered on top of your head, bitch. You looked at a hot fucking mess trying to find your own stitch because everybody kept comparing you to Lil' Kim because everything you did was imitate her. Be a duplicate, be a rendition, be a copycat. Bitch, you had no identity. And Lil' Kim and Foxy wasn't seeing out of That's the only reason why she featured with motherfucking Foxy Brown. Come on, Foxy is her mentor. Foxy Brown ain't your mentor, bitch. But when you came in the game, you was always rapping on the Lil' Kim and Biggie B. Keep that shit all the way 100, 1,000. Copacetic. You was a whole liar out here. Trying to sound professional like she holding her nose. And she be like, And you know, JT, I didn't know you can bring it like you brought it on that beat. I'm so sick and tired of this whole sounding like a motherfucking 1945 opera. I need her to talk clearly. I need her nasal passage to be free. Whatever it is that's blocking her cartilage, I need her to be able to talk freely. She sounds animated every time she talk. I can't take this bogus ass bitch serious. She's bogus as fuck. Lil' Kim is Nikki's mentor. Lil' Kim is not Nikki's competitor. That's the part y'all don't understand. Y'all don't seem to comprehend. Listen, she worshiped the ground. Kim walked on before she hit the industry. Bitch, you can't be a rival with a bitch that was before you, bitch, that paved the way for you. Lil' Kim paved the way for that hoe. You wanted to be a Kimmy, Nikki. You need to get that malice off your heart that your reign has came to an end. And if I'm lying, I'm flying, and I ain't got no motherfucking wings to fly because I ain't a bird, bitch. When you want to add up something, you don't go to Nikki. Nikki is where adding up shit goes to die. So all that time I saw them, oh, they got a song out about Nikki. Son, man, they ain't paying attention to Nikki, her son, or her pedophile-ass husband. They ain't checking for them people. Nikki done threw shade and subliminals at Megan Thee Stallion all on Twitter talking about, oh, she laughed about Tory Lanez and all that because she was mad she featured with Cardi B. She was in her feelings because they did the walk, the bop, unstop, and she mad. Guess what Megan did? Megan ain't even respond. She ain't putting in the energy to respond to Nikki Subliminal. In this business, it ain't personal, bitch. Was she supposed to stop her bad because you got personal feelings about another female MC that done came in the game 10 years after you? No, Megan can't insert her life into what your altercations is. Acting like a little ass girl, like a bitch can't communicate with a motherfucker because you got differences. Cardi B ain't wrong motherfucking Megan and nor did she wrong your ass. It's just that she didn't want to connect with you because she was keeping her loyalty with Remy Ma and you was mad about that. But she still chose to feature with you on Motorsport, ho. She chose to feature with you on Motorsport and you couldn't even do that right. You dropped the ball on that. You start dissing the girl when you working with her. Who collaborates with another artist to diss them on the song? Nikki, her insecure baby ass. Bitch, that shows your jealousy right there. That girl wasn't even thinking about you. That girl was on a whole nother 
another level, but you trying to throw jabs at this girl to prove to your audience that you the better MC. That girl want to compete with you. If you wanted to compete with Cardi, you should have did that shit at a versus. Not on the song. How the fuck you work with somebody and trying to diss them too? Make it make sense. Y'all don't want to admit that bitch is a whole motherfucking hater out here. Yeah. And she is. She is. And then she all of a sudden want to work with female artists after she say female artists, all of them is her son. Now she see Cardi working with people. She want to collaborate with motherfuckers. Come on, make it make sense. Can you make it make sense, please?